So guys, today we're back on the turbo. Well, I shouldn't say that, should I? It's Sylvia, isn't it? It's Sylvia. I need to get into the habit of saying Sylvia. Uh, thank you for everyone that voted for the name, by the way. I don't think I've thanked you yet in a video. So yeah, today, I don't know why the car's covered in, in stuff. I think maybe the neighbors don't like us parking in front of their house. Could be. I don't know, but, or maybe it was, yeah, just a bit too stormy. Not sure. Anyway, today we've got to test the head gasket on this thing. This car was actually abandoned in the city after it overheated on the previous owner. We came in, we got it started, it was overheating, so I took the thermostat out, then it was fine. Fitted a new thermostat, no problems, the, the coolant cap was cracked as well, so I replaced that and it's been fine ever since. However, a little bit of a cheeky cliffhanger in a previous video. At the end, I thought everything was fine, took the cap off and then I could smell fuel in the coolant. Uh, and I left it there because I needed to order a head gasket tester and in the meantime I've actually checked whilst it was running i checked the, the the coolant with the cap off and i can see little bubbles in the coolant coming through only a little bit but obviously the head gasket it looks like it's just slightly gone so today we're going to test it we've got our kit well you're going to test it i'm not going to yeah. test it miss involved is really excited to do a little <laughs> little science experiment so yeah anyway let's get started that wasn't too bad but a minute ago she took about two or three more cranks than that it could be water in the cylinders couldn't it like the, mud's all over again. the mud's all over again but we're not going to drive it for hundreds of kilometers like the mudster some of you guys might have noticed the bonnet there i'm actually selling it today um trying to make space in the garage of course i'd love to keep all the parts but you know there's just not enough room um, i would have kept the whole car if i could have you know and just tucked it to a side and had it as a parts car for a rainy day but anyway yeah she's not actually smoking so yeah i think it's just slow it's just started to go thing is with head gaskets when they go like well when the car overheats the head gasket will fail maybe 100 kilometers down the road so we're getting to about that mileage now so it doesn't happen straight away but it happens slowly shortly after that and it will just progressively get worse and worse now but yeah so the bubbles in the system there's not much pressure it's a volvo it's gonna rev it up for the first time ever no the other way yeah So guys, she's hot now, but actually, just seem a bit steamy. Yeah, and it's, I don't think that would be condensation because inside, because it's, I guess it's, it doesn't really smell that sweet. Cooling can smell sweet out of the exhaust pipe. Um, but we got, I drove it all the way here. It's hot, so we shouldn't have all this water coming out of it still. All the signs are there right now. I'm going to see if I can get bubbles again. Oh, is that bubbles? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little ones. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that the coolant level is too high and the tester is actually going to sit in the coolant slightly. Um, and obviously you don't want it like the coolant going into the tester. So I need to make a little bit more space in here. Yeah, so guys, the uh, the hood guy, he just came to collect it. Um, yeah, he's got a nice 240 in red as well, which is useful. He doesn't have to respray it. Um, he wants to get the hood. So what did he say? It's the second hood he's had. The first time he had a crash, Second time because he takes his 240 all around Europe and he was somewhere, did he say somewhere snowy? And yeah, a, yeah, and an and avalanche. And an avalanche yeah, came down on the car, destroyed the bonnet. So this is his second one, third yeah. one, whatever. He just kept the second one for three months and yeah. then the avalanche and then happened. the avalanche got him. Yeah. So yeah, now he's planning, he's about to go on another European road trip, I think he said. Yeah. Um, all around Europe and he wants the car looking nice for it. So it's a very red and very nice bonnet. So. Um, yeah, and the best part is actually going to send me some footage of him fitting it So I can show you guys that in a video as well And we've got some exciting other clips as well of other parts that are getting fitted to other cars Which I'm really looking forward to because there's some really nice cars Let's swap Let's swap 
May I open it now? You may open it now. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. A bit late. Or early. So, that goes so, in there. I'm interfering already. Excuse me. And then, because I had a sneak peek on the picture, I think you're not allowed to fill it up fully. You just fill it up until here, don't you? I don't know. Yeah, you are. You're the one in charge. <laughs> You got the packet. I have the French manual. That's that's not good. Yeah, just the lower bottom. Yeah, you're in charge. We got plenty of fluid, so it doesn't matter if you mess it up. <laughs> yeah. So now we wait. There we go. Uh, our suspicions were correct. I shouldn't be as excited, but I'm really excited about it turning yellow. No, you shouldn't be, because it means we have to rebuild the engine. Well, rebuild the engine, not really. It's only a head gasket job. What are we on now? About 70 videos and no engine work, so I think it's about time I actually took an engine apart. 